To better understand the QSIS system, let's start by diagramming a basic signal path. Audio begins at any given input source, such as a microphone or CD player. The input connects to the QSIS I.O. card, which provides the points of connection for the QSIS system. These cards can be installed in either the QSIS I.O. frame or directly into the QSIS core if you don't need remote input and output. QSIS I.O. frames allow for remote input and output connections to the QSIS system and as a result, can be positioned in a relatively close proximity to the physical input and output devices. In this example, I.O. frames convert audio input into network packets and send them over a standard gigabit Ethernet infrastructure. This revolutionary protocol is called QLAN. QLAN is so advanced, it can stream up to 1,024 channels on a gigabit network simultaneously. With the audio source now digitized and on the network, QLAN sends all sources through the QSIS core. This powerful 64-bit core manages all audio processing and data routing. After the QSIS core has processed the audio, it routes the signal to the appropriate output. In some cases, the signal is sent back onto the network to an I.O. frame, where it is converted to analog or digital AES-3 and fed to an output device such as an amplifier. In other cases, it is routed to a local I.O. card on the core itself and delivered to an output device.